Hey guys, welcome back. Guys and girls, people of YouTube, um, subscribers, and I really appreciate you guys hitting that subscribe button and subscribing to the channel. I um, want to talk a little bit about, um, you know, protecting the uh, investments that you have, especially in your firearms, right? Um, especially when you're not using them. And I don't necessarily, you know, I've got a lot of guns. I don't shoot all of my guns all the time. I do try to get out and shoot them, put them through the paces at least once a, uh, once a year. Um, but I don't always get a chance to shoot every single um, weapon that I have. Um, and, and I do like to protect them. Um, protect them from uh, banging around in the gun safe or uh, just protect them from dust and um, moisture and all kinds of other especially, you know, after I've given it a really good cleaning, I've oiled them all up and stuff. And, and I just want to make sure that they stay um, in working condition and, and, um, and, and in good shape. And, and so one of the things that I do, and like you said, this is a, my uh, 357. Um, this is my father's uh, service revolver uh, that he used. And um, he was a career army guy um, and then uh, got out and got into law enforcement. And so this was his uh, service revolver. And you can see it's in, it's in really, really good shape, right? It is, um, I mean, it's just a fine, fine piece of, of machinery. Um, very well kept. Um, it's got some wear areas and stuff, pulling it in and out of the holster. But, but I like to preserve this and I like to keep it. And so what I do is I put them in these gun socks, right? And this is just a regular, I mean, this gun sock costs like four bucks. Um, and I take it and I, you know, put it in these gun socks. And a lot of people, um, it's funny, um, I've had a lot, of, a lot of people I know said, why would you do that? Well, you know, these things, these gun socks, guys, are silicone uh, coated, right? So they're coated with silicone. They really do a good job of protecting um, the firearm and, and, you know, I've got all, a lot of my guns and just in gun socks. Um, some of them I have staged where I can grab them and I'm using them all the time, especially my, you know, my everyday carries, my EDC. Um, I've got a, a Glock 43 and my Glock 19 and I alternate between the two, uh, to carry. Um, but, but these things, you know, but not all these things, not all these guns have a, a box and not all these guns have um, have a spot. So sometimes these guns stack on each other, right? So these gun socks help protect this from metal on metal, um, you know, banging up and against each other or, or if I'm moving them around, uh, keeps them from getting nicked up and it keeps the oil on the gun, keeps them dry, keeps them clean, keeps dust from getting into it. Um, and, and how I do it, and then this is, this is my, just what I do, but they have these strings on them, right? And, and a lot of people don't know what to do with these strings. I just cinch it up really, really tight. I bring it up to the side of the revolver, right? Or whatever gun I'm working on. And then I wrap it around and then I tie it off right around the barrel. And I'll just tie it off just like that. So I do this crisscross pattern, bring it around and tie it off. And that keeps anything from getting in it. It cinches it up, keeps the moisture out, um, and just keeps them really well protected. Um, this is a, it's a gallon gun sock. Um, like I say, four bucks, um, three ninety nine. Um, I also use them on my semi automatics. Right, this is my AR. Um, yes, this is the uh, the M and P Sport. Um, right, this is the uh, Sport um, Two. I think. Yeah. And, um, and you know, when I'm not out shooting these things, um, you know, I, I want to keep them protected. There are some of these, again, I, I don't keep them all in gun socks, but, but you can even put a gun sock on this and I'll show you how to do that. It's, it's really, you know, it takes a little bit of work on um, this little bigger gun sock. I got this from the, uh, Cabela's, uh, store. Um, but you can write on it, you know, put on there what, what you want in it. But, um, but these make, again, these are just really, really good to protect them. You kind of have to open it up a little bit on the end, right? And yes, it will go over all of this, including the scope. Um, if you have a, you know, covers and stuff on the scope, then, you know, you got to be a little bit more careful with those. Um, but really, really simple. You just pull it down. Now you do have to watch the... Uh, little thread here on the side, right? But you just pull it over 
just like this. And we're gonna work this thing all the way down, down the weapon. So over that, and you're just gonna pull it, pick a tinny rails. Do have a little bit of a tendency to grab it, um, but I'm just gonna work this sock down, right? Little bit by little bit, pulling it as I go, pulling it over all those little areas. And just like that, we're gonna pull it down nice and tight. Just get it right over the top. Right, there we go. Now to work it over the scope, <clears throat> right? This is gonna be, um, I'm gonna pull it this way and then I'll pull it down. And just kind of grabbing it from the front, working it toward the back. Just pulling that sock. Just getting it over. All the knobs, the adjustments, back side of the scope, just like that. Down over the handle, just like that, right? And again, when I get to this bottom, now this one is a little different um, because the way this one is set up, it just has the, it's knotted here at the bottom. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna pull it tight, right? And I'm gonna just wrap it around. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go underneath the other cord and then I'm just gonna tuck in that little, tuck this in in between these two pieces of uh, string. And that's it, and uh, there it is. So now this one is gonna be protected against the elements, gonna be protected against any dust, it's gonna be protected against any moisture. Again, these are silicone lined um, gun socks. And, uh, and again, you know, I don't have to worry about weapons banging around on each other. Um, it does, you know, keeps the dust off the scopes. Um, I just think it's, I think if you're gonna invest in, uh, in firearms, guys, I think you should uh, protect your investments, right? So a great way to protect your investment is, um, is with the gun sock. Um, so that's just a little video that I have um, for you today. Again, really simple, really easy to do. And um, I got a lot of money in guns and I want to make sure that, uh, that they keep and maintain their value. So let me know what you think about the video. Um, if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, um, here pretty soon, it's starting to become spring. Um, here pretty soon, we're going to start getting out in the range. I'm going to show you, uh, we're going to shoot a bunch of these and uh, we'll have some, some live fire um, stuff going on in the future. Test out some new ammo. And I love the fact that ammo pricing is starting to come down. I don't know if you guys have seen this. I just, uh, I found some, um, uh, some ammo today, um, blaze ammo, uh, full, full jacketed, um, full metal jacket ammo, um, with brass, uh, 50 rounds of nine millimeter, um, for only $13.99. So it's starting to really creep down a little bit. It's starting to step down in price again, making it more affordable to shoot. Um, there's some other kinds of ammo out there. I mean, they still have, you know, steel jacket and uh, or steel um, um, ammo that you can get that uh, that's still fairly cheap. Um, we talked about that in my other video. I'm not a big fan of the steel. I think there's just, I think you get too much blowback um, and, and it really, uh, you know, messes up the breech and, and uh, you know, just, just, I don't know, just, just makes a mess. It's harder to clean the guns, but, but we're going to get out and we're going to shoot these here before too long. Um, but if you haven't already, guys, hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, and leave me some comments. I do read all of the comments that you guys post, and I try to answer every single one. Um, if I don't put a comment down or you didn't ask a question, I'm at least going to give you a thumbs up. So I appreciate the views and appreciate the subscribers. And um, let me know if uh, there's anything else I can help you with. Guys, take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.